Hey, good evening guys. Oleg here with another boot review. And today I have a special uh, boot here that I received just the other day from Thursday Boot Company. And this guy is the Vanguard in Grizzly Wheat. So um, these came in the other day and I've already unboxed them, but I just for the sake of the presentation and, and uh, showing everybody what it looks like coming out of the box. I still have the box here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Um, let's see, I need two hands to do this. So, so this is what the box looks like. It's a two piece and when you open it up, there are two pieces of promotional literature. So the first one just has Thursday logo, Thursday every day. Basically Thursday claims that their boots are comfortable and versatile enough to be worn every day of the week, not just Thursday. And on the back here, we've got our long-term care slip. So your Thursday boots were handcrafted with the highest quality leather from the best tanneries in North America. Selected for its durability and character, the leather will look even better with time and repeated wear. While you break in your boots, we recommend using either a leather balm or suede cleaner and a horsehair brush to buff away any blemishes. For more tips on keeping your boots fresh for years to come, email us or visit, us, visit our website. And then Thursday's website is listed right here below. So. And this is pretty cool. So one thing to note is Vanguard Boots um, is a part of Thursday's Made in USA line. These are assembled in, um, I believe, Arkansas at Thursday um, contracted um, assembly location, Arkansas, USA. So and then we've got another piece of literature here, which is a, uh, like a straight up marketing promotional card here. It says work hard, play hard, live every day like Thursday. So and then it's got a quote code here and invitation call to action to visit them on their social media platforms. And uh, just a little, little blurb here about the goal. Uh, it was simple goal, create a great pair of boots that um, could handle our busy lives in New York City. That's coming from the two founders. Um, comfortable, durable, versatile. No matter where you work or what you do for fun, you should always be able to stand confident in your Thursdays. We're still a small team pursuing our dream and we couldn't do it without your support. Thank you for bringing our vision to life. Welcome to Team Thursday. Uh, Connor and Nolan, the two uh, co-founders. Um, so I know Connor is uh, more of the chairman. Nolan's the chief marketing officer and the CEO of the company. So. So it's pretty cool. Um, I will say that um, this pair of boots that I received is the only one that actually came with the two promotional pieces of literature like this. So that was nice. So here's for the big moment. Let's see what the actual boots look like. Got nice Thursday paper here. And here they are. These are the Vanguard Capto Thursday boots. I'm just gonna fold everything else over here and talk to you guys about these boots. So um, these are very cool looking boots, in my opinion. I thought they looked unique on the website. Um, I had a gift card to Thursday Boots, and I was kind of agonizing over which pair to get. I was kind of leaning towards getting another pair of Captains, but I figured, you know what? Why own multiple pairs of the same style, even though they are excellent boots? Um, but So I chose to go an alternative route and chose to go with these guys. Um, you know, they are a little different looking. I think they've got a little more uh, character in some ways. And I think in, in certain ways, they are more durable and um, 
wearable um, for outdoorsy activities such as hiking and so on and so forth. So I'll go over key salient points about these boots having to do with style, uh, comfort and fit, price point, and um, special remarks that I have uh, noted from a few days of owning these. So, so style-wise, so these boots are a Thursday's rendition of the traditional American service boot. Um, they are service boot inspired, military inspired. Um, you know, they fit a certain aesthetic. Um, they are, um, again, as I mentioned before, made in USA. So with that in mind, you know, there is a little upcharge for um, this, particular, this particular pair. Um, as you know, if you've looked at Thursday Boots website, majority of their boots revolve right around $190 to $200 uh, price point. Um, the Chukka boots that they have, the, the Scouts are, I believe, $150, which is their most affordable uh, style. And then their Made in USA line is um, anywhere between um, $249. Uh, which is actually what these this particular Vanguard boot was is was two hundred and forty nine dollars so two hundred fifty bucks, um, and then they've got a couple other styles which are, uh, I believe, two hundred and sixty five dollars, so about fifteen dollars more. Um, you know, I I've ordered quite a few pairs of boots from Thursday Boots. Um, you know, I I think. They're, they are a great company. They're onto something really special. Um, there is definitely, definitely, definitely a place for them in the American and international boot scene. Um, you know, they are offering superb products at a very affordable and very attractive price point. Um, the one drawback about them, though, in my experience, and that is, you know, again, that comes with the territory, so to say, is that they only have two brick and mortar locations. And those are both in New York City. Um, if you follow my uh, channel and you've seen other videos that I posted, you know, I live in Central Florida, so there's really no convenient way for me to go and visit um, their stores and, and try boots on and to actually see and feel things before I commit to buying. So um, I kind of had to go uh, based on the hunches, uh, based on the information available on their site and based on the reviews. Uh, posted on YouTube and social media, uh, you know, be it uh, Instagram or Facebook uh, by other individuals. So, um, yeah, um, you know, I ended up buying a few different pairs and I didn't really care for them, uh, be it style-wise, be it color-wise. Um, that is unfortunately a flaw of Thursday's um, site, um, as I've observed, is they do have certain um, boot styles which appear different um, on their site than they actually are in real life when you receive them. So not a huge deal. Again, Thursday is a very responsive, very agile company. They are very quick to address any and all concerns you may have. Um, you know, they uh, provide return labels, um, you know, a self-serve uh, portal that they have available. All you need is your zip code and your um, original order number. And then it's a pretty much step-by-step -step process to walk you through the return process, which takes all in all um, less than five minutes, honestly. Um, and then it's just a matter of taking them to a UPS location to drop them off. So, but anyways, um, these are, as I mentioned, a rendition of um, American Service Boot. They, they do have this cap toe here that is um, triple stitched. And just like all Thursday boots, different models of Thursday boots, these are 360 degree Goodyear welted, which again means that these boots are water resistant. They are able to be resold at any point in time. Um, if I wanted to take these to the cobbler right away and put a different sole on them, I could. Um, you know, these did come with these um, Commander Lug um, Vibram, I guess is how you say it. You're supposed to say it, Vibram. Um, um, soles, uh, which are, you know, they, they are, um, they do provide better traction. And, um, you know, they are geared more towards outdoorsy um, activities, be it walking, hiking, um, just adventuring of any sorts. 
They do have these uh, Kevlar reinforced laces and they do have the Thursday proprietary, I suppose, again, according to what I was able to find, Thursday proprietary grizzly wheat, rugged and resilient leather. Um, so these are size nine and a half D, standard D. Um, I am a standard 10 D on the Brannock device. Um, most of my dress shoes, my sneakers are size 10. But with Thursdays, I've actually, uh, through trial and error, again, um, I've gone as far down as size nine. Um, having or originally ordered size nine and a half, I sort of figured they're a little loose. So I returned them and tried size nine and size nine proven to be uh, too tight and too snug in the, um, in the toe area. So ultimately ended up returning them and going back to size nine and a half, which again is, is slightly roomier. Um, you know, in the front here, I definitely have room to wiggle my toes, but you know, at that point it's, um, I think a matter of personal preference. I do prefer my boots to fit a little more snug. Um, I do have a lower volume foot, so it takes up less space inside the boot. Um, but again, with, um, with, you know, the, the plus side to having boots that fit the way that these guys do is that. I am, in fact, able to wear them with dress socks, which are thinner, or um, thicker socks for hiking and, um, you know, outdoorsy type of activities. So, so that's definitely a plus. Um, you know, first impressions, again, I've, I have not, again, full disclaimer, I have not actually worn these outside for very long yet. I've uh, received them. I opened the box. I put them on. I walked around my apartment in them for you know a few hours um you know I, I think i did an equivalent of maybe like two miles uh you know the first day i had them um no hot spots i'll tell you that right away that's one thing you know big selling point about thursday boots is that they are notoriously comfortable straight out of the box you know some other brands like like red wings and um you know some other brands um you know Maybe even Timberlands and some other ones that I've tried on in my life. Out of the box, you know, you put them on and they are a little stiff. You know, they take a little bit of time to break in. Um, but these guys are very, very comfortable straight out of the box. They've got full glove leather lining on the inside. They've got leather um, insoles, which are not removable, but that's okay. Um, very supple, very comfortable leather. Um, again, I've tried them on and walked around the house in them in crew socks. Um, also, you know, low cut socks, which, you know, the, the shaft of the boot here was rubbing up against my ankle, but, um, by rubbing, I mean, it was actually touching my skin. Um, didn't have any abrasions, didn't have any sort of, um, red marks or, um, you know, scuffs or anything like that. So really good, really good boot overall. Um. You know, the reason I picked these, honestly, is, um, uh, well, number one, um, I, I do enjoy investing and buying something that is actually made in the United States. I think it's um, a, a great cause to support, you know, anytime you can buy American, made here in America, buy American people, I think you should do it. Obviously, you end up paying a little bit more of a, you know, premium for that, but, um, you know, I think it's, again, at the end of the day, it's, it's worthwhile for me personally uh, to know that, you know, I am supporting, um, you know, American workers and doing good some here. So uh, they are um, made with a rugged and resilient leather, which if you see my other videos, I am notorious about kind of putting my boots to the ringer. I like to really beat the heck out of them. Um, take them on trails, take them on walks, and so on and so forth. So, you know, these ones are, you know, rugged and resilient. It's an option within the Vanguard line. There is another line, there is another um, two uh, colors in Vanguard style. One is called um, French Roast, which is just your uh, brown Chrome XL leather, I believe. And um, that's more or less Thursday's classic, um, piece of Thursday's classic made in USA collection. And then they also have the um, burnt copper, 
which is copper, rough and tough, again, proprietary Thursday leather, um, you know, but I, I figured with, with this one, um, it, it was available. It was one of the last two pairs left in my size, which is nine and a half D in Thursday. So I figured, you know what, they're different. They're unique. The laces are, you know, different, you know, and, and unique in themselves. So I'll give them a shot. So I ordered them and honestly, so far I'm, I'm pretty happy I did. Um, you know, style wise, I think these can go really well with, um, jeans, uh, some hiking gear, you know, um, I don't honestly think that these can be dressed up, uh, given that they are, you know, they've got the outdoorsy laces and then the, the outsole here is, is, um, definitely meant for, um, more of a, you know, rough terrain traversing. So definitely don't think that these can be, um, passed as, as dressy pairs of boots, but you know, that's not to say that you can't wear them with uh, khakis if you're going out to a restaurant, going out to a bar, uh, just going out to hang out with some friends, walk around and whatnot. I think, um, you know, these can definitely be a, an upper class casual boot um, as well as an outdoors boot for hiking and doing that kind of stuff. So, um, so fit wise, again, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, these fit pretty well. Um, as I mentioned, I am able to wear them with dress, so thinner dress socks as well as thicker um, boot socks. Um, no hot spots, no blisters thus far. I do plan on putting them on over the weekend here and uh, putting on a few miles and just to see how they hold up. You know, I'll, I'll do a follow-up video at some point to uh, let you guys know what my, what my thoughts are past the trial period, but honestly, based on my experience with Thursday boot brands so far, other boots that I own in Thursday's um, collection, I, I, I just don't foresee them being, um, you know, any sort of problem. So, um, you know, they, they do feel, you know, not super heavy, but they, they definitely have some weight to them. So, you know, you're, you're holding a quality um, piece of boots here in your hand that's what you have in your possession um you know i think once i get some scuffs on them you know they they get some rubs they get some scuffs some dings and stuff um you know part of me is not necessarily looking forward to that but another part of me is actually kind of excited as weird as it might sound because i mean that's what these boots are meant for they're meant for um you know enduring the test of time and enduring different uh terrains and being able to tell the story at the end of the day. So I, again, definitely look forward to, um, putting in miles and, and, and having these for, you know, many years to come. Um, so, and, uh, you know, last thing I want to touch on here is, um, pricing. So as I mentioned, these are part of Thursday's made in USA collection. These are the Vanguard boots in Grizzly Wheat, um, rugged and resilient leather. Uh, other boots, such as the Burnt Copper and the French Roast that are currently still available um, on Thursday site, they retail right now for $265. These guys are retailing for $249, so $15 less while supplies last. Um, Again, these are nine and a half D. They were the last, they were the one, there was only two pairs left on Thursday site when I placed an order for these um, in that particular site. So I know they're kind of dwindling, dwindling down in their supply. Uh, there's a bunch of other colors which were previously available in the Vanguard line, which are no, no more, no longer available. Um, you know, there's one color that I really wish I would have been able to get my hands on, and that's their. Um, Corween color number eight, which is like a maroon, um, maroonish brown color. It's really awesome looking, um, but they've been out of stock for quite some time, and and who knows whether or not they're gonna ever make a comeback. So, so two hundred and forty nine dollars, um, two hundred fifty bucks. Um, I think again for the money, um, what you're getting here is authentic. Um, craftsmanship, American craftsmanship, made in USA through and through. Um, Fibram outsole, 
you know, great for hiking, got great traction, great support, um, good ankle support overall. Um, I will also mention this just uh, from opening the box and, and getting these guys out for the very first time. I mean, there's just, and, and this is going to sound super weird, but I will, I will say it anyways, it's, it's just amazing how well they smell the leather when it's brand new, fresh out of the box. There's, to me personally, um, there's few things in the world that are as alluring smelling as, as brand new leather boots um, or brand new leather, really anything. They are just really nice and uh, it was a pleasure uh, getting them out of the box for the very first time. So, um, one thing that's worth mentioning also about Thursday's site is that um, there is a feature. Thursday is partner with a uh, finance company called Afterpay, which um, is a great way for somebody who's on the budget who might not necessarily have $250 right away to put down on a pair of boots. Um, Afterpay allows you to still own these um, over a course of four installments. So it takes a price of a boot before tax. I don't think tax is ever applicable on Thursday site, um, unless maybe it's an international shipping um, situation. I have no idea. So um, it takes the retail price of the boot and it splits it up among four payments, four installments that are interest and um, fee free. So it's literally like buying a pair of boots and they get shipped to you right away. You get them within whatever lead time is from um, Thursday's warehouse in Massachusetts to your location. Um, you get them right away. You can start wearing them right away, get to enjoy them, uh, put them into circulation, and then your payments take place over four weeks. So you, you literally break the cost of the boot out into four payments and you provide them with a credit or a debit card and it charges your card and it's same as cash you know, over a course of four installments, which I think is a fantastic option for somebody, again, who's on the budget, who might not necessarily have the money to um, afford the purchase outright. You know, again, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a very, um, I think, smart, convenient way for people to um, still be able to enjoy these awesome, um, good quality leather boots um, at an affordable rate. So, so that's about all I had to uh, talk about with these uh, Vanguard Grizzly Wheat um, boots. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you think it was worth your time to watch it, um, give me a thumbs up. Please click su subscribe. Um, I do have other boots that I will be reviewing here in the next few days. Um, and, you know, I do hope that uh, the content that I'm presenting within the, these videos is helpful to you on some level be it um, for just general acumen um, enhancement on um, quality leather boots. If you're on the fence about buying a particular pair of boots and you just need um, to be able to see them in person, um, you know, whatever the case might be. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video and, and maybe a few times throughout the video too, is the, the Vanguard Grizzly Wheat is not a top selling model in the Vanguard line. It is not very well known. It's kind of an, it really is kind of an odd color. You know, not a lot of people like it. It's not brown. It's not, it's definitely nowhere near being, uh, you know, darker. It's uh, this kind of saddle, you know, the lighting here might not even be doing it justice, but it's really like a, like a reddish saddle um, tan color that is, you know, that, that has a very nice texture. It's got, kind of a waxy feel to it, um, you know, and that's their Grizzly Wheat Rugged Resilient Leather. So I haven't found too many reviews in this particular boot when I was uh, trying to make up my mind. Um, I scoured YouTube through and through and didn't see anything. So uh, maybe this is one of the first few reviews of this particular boot style in this color. So hopefully, again, it's doing some good to uh, many of you out there and maybe helping you make up your mind about um, purchasing these for yourself or maybe your loved ones, your family members. So again, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, click subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come.